Hello, and welcome to Precon Decon, the video series where I deconstruct the pre-constructed decks of Magic the Gathering's history. In this video, we're going to look at the last deck from Theros, uh, which is Anthusa's Army, which is a green and white deck. Let's take a look at the look at the deck list here. So we've got 20 creatures, 9 instants, 3 sorceries, 2 enchantments, 1 artifact, and 25 land, and we've got a mana curve off to the side there. Uh, so let's start looking at the cards in the deck. So the foil face rare um, is Anthusa, Satessan Hero. Um, probably pronouncing that name wrong. So, yeah, sorry. If you want to correct me in the comments how it should be pronounced, please do. Uh, so three and two green for a four five. Uh, it has the heroic ability. So heroic is the other big gimmick of Theros. So we've seen uh, two decks that use monstrosity. Uh, we had a deck that used devotion. We had a deck that cared about enchantments. Uh, so this is the other big gimmick is the um, heroic creatures. Um, so heroic is just um, an ability. It's not. A, it is an ability where it's not a keyword, um, but just means whenever the a creature the creature gets targeted by a spell that you control, then uh, you get the heroic bonus. And this is usually just getting plus one plus one counters. Um, but there can be um, other more interesting effects as well. Um, I really like heroic as an ability. It's a very simple ability to understand. Um, and it's just, you know, you just load up a deck with heroic creatures and buff spells, and then you just go to town. And yeah, it has obviously nice synergies with, um, you know, like all the bestow creatures as well that were in the block. Um, yeah, it's nice. And also actually going forward, it has some nice synergies with... Um, the next block, which is Khans of Tarkir, because then you've got the um, Abzan, which are in green, white, and black. Um, and yeah, obviously, like green green and white were the two main like heroic colours in Theros. So there was, you know, obviously that kind of synergy going in the, you know, between the two sets. So you would have a bunch of heroes, you'd have all the Abzan cards, which cared about plus one, plus one counters. Oh, it's just, it was just a good time. Um, anyway, let's look at Anthusa. So, uh, yeah, Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Anthusa, Satessan Hero, um, up to three target lands you control, each become 2-2 two -two warriors until end of turn, and they're still lands. Um, yes, yeah, so this is really fun. You just, like, target her with a spell, you get whatever effect the spell is, and also you turn three of the lands into... Um, into two two creatures in turn turn, which is really really solid because then you can just swing with you know uh, you know like an instant army essentially. Um, yeah, the fact you can do this at instant speed is obviously really good as well. Um, you just create a bunch of blockers maybe out of nowhere. Um, yeah, really really solid. Uh, I think a really good choice for the um for your face rare. I think it's the only Theros deck that's got a um a legendary creature as one of the um as one of the for your face rares. So that's that's also pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, I think just just pretty solid honestly. Yeah. Uh, we've got two Centaur Battlemasters, uh, so three and two green for three three. Um, has heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, um, gets three plus one plus one counters. So, again, like this is where like heroic really can get away. Like, um, I remember when I went to the Theros pre-release, like so many people were playing like heroic decks because it was just so. It's so easy to build around because you just say you have a bunch of creatures, a bunch of buff spells. Um, and then yeah, they just they just grow whenever you target them, which is you know, it's just it's just a really strong ability. Um yeah, so this starting off, you know, is only a three three for five mana is like not amazing. But yeah, you know, just the fact you cast one buff spell and it goes up to a six six plus whatever the buff spell was, really, really strong. Yeah. Really like it. And same with Staunch Hearted Warrior, this is like just not as good as Centaur Battle Master. Um just three and a green for a two two when you target it with a spell. Um it gets two plus one plus one counters. Um so yeah, not obviously not as good as Centaur Battle Master, but cheaper and you know at common, so it's fine. Um so yeah, just just you know, really solid kind of core for these uh, like uh, decks focusing on heroic. Uh we have a single phalanx leader. I really wish there'd been two of these because these these are really, really good. Um so two white mana for a one one. When AD cast spell that targets it, you get a plus one plus one counter on every creature you control, not like not just him. Um, which is really, really strong. Um, I say, you know, because you get whatever the buff spell is, and then also, you know, you're improving your whole board, like everything's getting a permanent plus one plus one. Really, really good. Um, having two of these I think would have been would have been excellent. Would have been such a good way to make the deck really, really strong. Uh yeah, really great card. 
Um, and then a single favoured hoplite, uh, so one white mana for a 1-2, um, has heroic whenever you cast a spell that targets it, it gets a plus one plus one counter, and you prevent all damage that would be dealt to it um, for the rest of the turn, um, which is, you know, again, really good. Um, just means it's going to, obviously because its stats are quite small staff with, um, so preventing the damage means it's going to get the bus spell, it's going to get its counter, it's going to keep the counter because it's going to be immune to damage for a whole turn as well, so just going to keep growing throughout the game. Um, so yeah, again, like really, really solid. Um, really like this. Um, again, I would uh, with the as with the phalanx leader, I would have I would have either had I would have had two of either of them. I wouldn't have had one and one, but yeah, that's just how obviously these decks are built. A uh, single Satessan Battle Priest, uh, so one and a white for a 1-3. Uh, whenever you target the um, spell, uh, you just get two life. So this is kind of like kind of a weak heroic trigger, honestly, just getting a bit of extra life from um, a buff spell, but it's all right. Um, at, you know, at two mana for a 1-3, at least it's like fairly defensive, I suppose. Mm, it's okay. Um, it's, you know, it's obviously not as good as what the ones we've seen, because it's like, it's not getting stronger, which is like, I feel like the whole point of the heroic cards, um, it's just gaining you a bit of life, which is you know not as not as important um if it was saying like oh we got a plus one plus one counter and got lifelink until end of turn or something but then i think it's <laughs> then it's then it's getting too good then it's probably getting to the realms of uncommon uh, and then we have two wingsteed riders uh so one and two white uh two two flyer and heroic gets a plus one plus one counter um so this is like again like a really good use of heroic because it's on a creature that's already evasive so it's going to keep getting bigger and it's going to remain evasive so it's so it's, um so it's going to be like double doubly hard to deal with um yeah really really solid yeah really like really like all these um green white heroic creatures i think they're great um but we're done with the heroes now we're going to move on to the rest of the <laughs> rest of the creatures um a single satessan griffin uh so four and a white for a three two flyer um you pay two and two uh green to give it plus two plus two to turn turn and you only do it once a turn um yeah just kind of expensive and bad i think honestly like uh four and a white for a three two uh three two flying maybe um i think that's one more expensive that needs to be because you think of what assault griffin is three and a white for three two flyer um i guess it's got the pump ability i suppose but it's you know i get also it's kind of an expensive pump ability but i suppose it's on a creature with evasion so uh, it's it's ba it's basically okay it's basically okay but um would be better if it was you know <laughs> i think another heroic card instead uh two chronicler of heroes this is this is pretty good in this deck um so one colors one green one white for a three three um so you know just three for a three three is all right uh when it enters the battlefield uh you draw a card if you control a creature with a plus one plus one counter on it um which is you know fairly easy to hit in this deck you, you know a bunch of the cards get plus one plus one counters when you um cast your uh buff spells on them so yeah this is not hard to do and you know a three three that lets you draw a card for any three mana is you know is pretty good so yeah good good inclusion i think um a single theories band centaurs uh four and a green just for three seven yep just a big old <laughs> big old but <laughs> vanilla creature um so all these all these theros decks use like vanilla creatures in some way um just as filler honestly filler vanilla which is okay i suppose <laughs> i'd rather you know obviously have things that are more fitting towards the theme of the deck but is what it is um two deadly recruits um excellent excellent early game blocker one in the green for a one two with reach and death touch yep really really good um you know such such a good deterrent early game like no one wants to attack into this uh, and then two elvish mystics one green mana for a one one taps to give you green yep helps you i guess ramp up i mean like you've got a fairly low mana curve actually in the deck um but you know obviously it doesn't hurt to ramp up anyway get those get more creatures down get your cast your buff spells more often get your counters yep it's okay always good to have more mana um and then two rumbling baloths we've got we've got to have more vanilla creatures apparently um two and two green just for a four four sure it's fine um so the other rare in the deck and um i don't know whether i choose between this or anthusa is like the best rare in the deck uh but it's bow of nylia which is um I, d I didn't actually realize that i knew one of these decks had like one of the um god enchantments in it enchantment artifacts um because the new devotion darkness had the whip of erebos but i'd forgotten this deck had bow of nida in it uh so one and two green legendary enchantment artifact um attacking creatures you control have death touch which is just uh, immediately like a really strong effect um just to come down and give all your attackers death touch is really really good um but then it has like this whole um swiss army knife really of abilities which is you know actually something we see with green a lot um the last one I think of is, oh, there was like in Dominaria, there was like the green, like gorilla 
shaman thing. Um, I can't remember exactly, but you know, it's one of these things where, you know, when you do something, you choose like one of like three effects or something when it attacks or enters play or something. Yeah, which is, you know, it's just cool that that's um, something that's kind of always been there in green. But anyway, Bow of Nylia. So you can pay one in a green tap and you choose one. You either put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, which is fine, that's exactly what the deck wants, or Bow of Nylia does two damage to target creature with flying, which is, you know, also, you know, conditional, but good to know it's there. Or you gain three life, which is also fine. Um, or put up to four target cards from your graveyard on, on the bottom of your library in any order. Um, that's, you know, that one is, I feel like, the more niche ability, obviously, because um, even going on the bottom of your library, there's no. Yeah, it's pretty much out of the game. Um, yeah, I don't think you've really got any ways in the deck of like searching up for anything, um, honestly. Um, so really, I think this is mostly here just for the plus one, plus one counters. Um, but yeah, um, I think this is like really, really solid uh, rare to have in here. Um, and I'm not sure if... I think Anthusa does what the deck wants a bit more, but this is like, this is still like a really solid extra rare to have. Uh, then we have two Battlewise Valor, so getting into the buff spells now. Um, so one white uh, instant type creature gets plus two, plus two, then turn and scry one. Uh, yep, yeah, fine, fine, very straightforward buff spell. Uh, let's you scry, which is okay. Uh, yep, yeah, two of those. Uh, two Dauntless Onslaughts. So uh, this is one of the, um, so each color had uh, what I like to call like a teamwork um, buff spell, which basically just, as I say, it just targets two creatures, which uh, which is really good because you can get double double heroic triggers off it, which is really strong. Um, so Dauntless Onslaught is just two and a white, two target creatures, each get plus two, plus two, so then turn. Um, yeah, which is good. So yeah, one card gets you two two triggers, which is which is I say pretty good. Um, and Dauntless Onslaught is like the most straightforward one. I think the red one is really really good. Um, the red one is like one red man to give two up to two creatures plus one plus not on first strike clinter, which is really really good. Um, the blue one is okay. The black one is the most expensive and I think the worst one. Um, Warrior's Lesson, the green one, I think is really really good. Um, so a single green mana. Um, until end turn, up to two target creatures you control each game. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. So. I really like the like the, the you know the potential of this card because for one green mana you get two heroic triggers which can be you know plus one plus one counters or gain some life or or you know turning stuff into warriors or whatever um so two of those and potentially draw two cards for a single green mana is really really good um so yeah really so I really like both of these like the onslaught and the warriors lesson um warriors lesson I think is 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 really really good uh, and then two giant growths, just the most straightforward buff you could ever wish for, just one green mana for plus three plus three. Uh, yep, that's fine. Um, and then two time to feed, uh, so two in a green, um, sorcery speed. Choose target creature and opponent controls. When that creature dies this turn, you gain three life. Type creature you control fights that creature. So it is a very roundabout way of giving one of your um, creatures a heroic trigger. But um, you know, it, this also is serving as like a removal spell for you, I suppose, and a bit of life gain. Um, so it's 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 okay. So overall, I think you've got like about ten buff spells here, which works out. I think there's ten heroic creatures as well. So that actually sort of works out okay. Because I was I was really worried when I was looking at the deck. I was like, oh, there's a bunch of heroic creatures. Like, is there going to be enough ways to um to reliably get the um effects? And they did, because you know, to be fair, Theros was full of um, you know, you know, good good um combat tricks and buff spells. Um, and then it's like the rest of the deck is kind of just like utility, honestly. Um, so a single artisan sorrow, uh, three in a green. It's basically naturalized, but with scry two, it's fine. Um, a single vanquish the foul. I think this is so expensive. Um, five and a white to destroy type creatures, the power four or greater, and scry one. And it's, it's so expensive. Like at six mana and at sorcery speed, <laughs> and it's and it's conditional. Um, and you only get to scry one. It's just yeah. I mean, like, you know, you're not saying you wouldn't be happy to see this card in your hand if you were staring down something that had power four or more, but would you want to pay six mana for it, I suppose? Well, if it's going to help you stay in the game, I suppose. But yeah, so expensive. Um, And then two Grax. Just finish it off with two Grax. We love Grax. Um, and then 13 Forests and 12 Plains. So yeah. So uh, what could have been? Uh, so there's a few buff spells, I think, that should have been included. I'm going to talk about the, the big one first, God's Willing. Um, This is, I think, like the the best white buff spell in the in the block um because it's single white mana gives protection at instant speed um which is really really good um yeah i've banged on about it so many times but giving protection at instant speed is like such a strong combat trick and lets you scry one as well and it's common and it's only one mana and it's really really good um 
and this would just help like your heroic creatures like push through um you know get through unblocked maybe um you know get their heroic bonuses as well uh yeah i just think that would have been really really solid to include um savage surge was the other one uh so just one green um target which gets plus two plus two lend turn and then you it untaps as well so i think this would have been fun to have this instead of maybe the giant growth um just because it's doing something a bit, a bit extra like the surprise untap is always like really you know is always is always very welcome um as a you know get a surprise blocker or a sort of roundabout way of giving something vigilance um and then as an alternate rare maybe um anthusa i think is great um because she's a, she's a legendary creature with with the um you know, the deck's kind of theme keyword, so she definitely has to say. Um, maybe instead of Bow of Nylia, like this fabled hero, um, he is quite boring, I'm not going to lie. It's, um, he's pretty efficient, you know, because he's uh, one and two white for a two-two with double strike and has heroic, gets just a plus one, plus one counter. So he's very efficient. Um, he is just a bit boring because it, all it is is just, you know, double strike and plus one, plus one counter. So he's very, you know, let's say very strong, very efficient, but honestly, like, maybe a little boring. So maybe the Bow of Nylia is you know maybe the more ideal card just because it does something like quite interesting it has like so many different effects and you know giving all your attacking creatures death touch is is very 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 strong um so yeah that's that was just my thoughts on what could have been um so in summary um i like this one uh because i like the heroic keyword i think it's just pretty fun um again like very evocative like tells a story like which is kind of a thing of theros anyway right they're like um it's a very um yeah like top down block you know a lot of a lot of um narrative and storytelling in the cards and stuff which i which i really like very evocative as a set um so yeah i think this one is is perfectly solid i've i've played um like green white heroes before like i've as as you know as a constructed deck i've I've put that together and have like really good fun with that just like building up a bunch of counters and playing a bunch of um you know combat tricks and stuff really really good fun so yeah i think this would have played pretty well out of the box honestly uh what are your thoughts on the deck after seeing it? if you have any thoughts or stories or comments or opinions about the deck or any of the cards in it stick a comment below or give them a read uh but we are now done with looking at the theros intro packs or you know at least Theros the set, not Theros the block. It's always very confusing when the first the first part of the block is the same name as the overall block. Um, so yeah, after so next video is going to be moving on to Born of the Gods, um, and looking at those five there. So that will be fun to start looking start looking at those those five. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll start those next time. But until then, thanks for watching, listening, and have a great day.